Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to From the Depths with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to the Lathrixian Legion in all of its glory. Now with a fair few triters, which are going to help us annihilate the Dustwind Gypsies once and for all. We have some triter bikes, we have a couple of triter sidewinders, and of course we have a triter truck. In addition to two triter shrikes, we have a bit of a mixed force here. We have lots of Khan tanks, we have the Krull, which is unchanged from the previous episode, which I will be changing after we kill the Land Marauder, I believe it's called, the headquarters of the Dustwind Gypsies. And of course we have our flyers, which I will also be editing after we kill the enemy. My main goal is to capture the Land Marauder. I'm not sure if you even can do that, I'm unsure if it's allowed, but we are going to try. The only thing I know is it's definitely over 2,000 volume, so once we capture it, we won't be able to repair it past that. So any damage we do is going to be permanent damage. So what I'm most likely going to do is have all of my vehicles on off, Wow, look how many AIs we have here. All of them on the off, so none of them are going to attack automatically. And then we are going to go straight into the Land Marauder with our melee capabilities. And if all works out, we can board it and capture it for the Legion. So with all of that out of the way, let's go Dustwind Gypsy hunting. The Land Marauder, the final boss of the Dustwind Gypsies versus a very large group of our forces. Now... What I really should do, to be perfectly honest, is not spawn in everything because the amount of lag which will happen will be atrocious, but at the same time, I kind of want to spawn in everything, but even then, if I want to capture this vehicle, I'll have to make sure I don't utterly obliterate it within seconds, which very well might happen. I don't know how good the Land Marauder is. Is it going to be really, really powerful in comparison to the other forces of the Gypsies, or is it going to be just made out of wood like the original Marauder and will pretty much die very quickly to armor-penetrating shells? I really, really don't know, so I don't know what I should do here. What I probably could do is spawn in everything but take away the AI straight away in terms of all of my vehicles so that they're not instantly obliterating it, and then after seeing it, we can decide what to do. So I think that's what I'm going to do, although I am a little bit nervous about the copperheads, the bikes, in addition to a few other things, because, well, they're controlled by control blocks, so even if I do turn off their AI, they're going to still head towards the enemy and detonate. Just kill themselves in general, especially the Shrikes. They're going to fly straight into the ground. But that's a risk I am willing to take. The battle has begun and all of my forces are lined up really, really neatly. And this is the Land Marauder. Let's have a quick look-see. And, oh my god, they have literally got the Marauder from the water and added wheels. They have actually done that. That is amazing. That is actually utterly amazing. And look, little drawbridges and everything. That's really quite cool. So they have wheels on the side here, which is fairly nice. They have a couple of cram cannons on the front, which is to be expected. They have a couple of small advanced cannons, and that seems to be it. Does it have missiles? It probably will have, although I can't... Oh, there they are. So I can see them. It does have missiles. The question for me then is where is the enemy AI? If I was the AI, I would probably put it somewhere on the back to look, well, rather themed. We have a little control section there, we have our refinery, we have this, we have heavy armor, which I think is a good sign, and we have the main AI. So this is what we are going to need to destroy to take over this lovely, lovely marauder. Oh look, they've even got exhausts in the form of a ladder, that's quite sweet. That is one huge cram cannon. Okay, so that can probably do quite a bit of damage. Also, a really cool aesthetic on the front rams. And then even more advanced cannons. Well, thankfully, we are pretty close. So, what we need to do is ram its backside. And I'm so sorry to all the vehicles which will die because I'm doing this. And here we go. Missiles have already been released, and the poor bikes on our side are just randomly circling. Oh, this is so laggy because of everything here, even with the AIs turned off. Let's just try to keep up. 
The enemy actually seems faster than us. Also, I'm not quite sure why we're rocking so much. That didn't happen in the last episode, and the last time I used the Krull. Also overshot there a little bit. Armor piercing rounds from... Uh-oh. The Cram Cannon's aiming at the Krull. Also, we just fired at one of their bikes. I'm assuming we hit it even though we didn't see it. Let's try and stay behind the Marauder because it doesn't seem like that main cannon, the one on the turret, can actually face directly backwards. The missile's going ahead of us and we are catching up. Such a slow-mo fight. Go on, we can do it. Also, one of the bikes just detonated and apparently hurt them more than us. Hello! We're underneath you! <laughs> oh dear! That wasn't the plan! Well, um, that works, sure. That was... You know what? That was totally intentional. No! Don't get away from us! You fiend! Um, excuse me, Traitor, can you please move? The land marauder seems to be glitching out a little bit there, that's fine. As we utterly devastate our own vehicle. Seems reasonable. One of our Khan, uh, one of our Khan, one of our enemies, ah, uh, one of our vehicles are dying in the background, can't talk. Too much going on. Okay, we're on board. Pause. We're on board. Now, what I was trying to say is yes, one of our Khan tanks just got detonated by the cram cannon, so we have lost the tank. But that's fine, they're acting as a good distraction vehicle. We are now on, and that was really, really weird, and not how I, not how I expected that to go at all. So, the AI is directly underneath us. Okay, so we just need to break what we're currently standing on. Reasonable. Oh, this is making me feel sick. Loud noises from every direction. I would use the minigun, but I don't trust it with all of this very explosive material nearby. I need some control about what I'm shooting. Actually, if we detonate that, there's a good chance it'll detonate everything we need to detonate. Sure. Aim for the fuel! I think. It's so hard to tell. Oh, I'm feeling ill. Grenade worked. Hello, glass. Did it work? Is it ours? No, it has at least one of the mainframes somewhere. Darn it, I should have knew that. I really should have guessed that. Okay. Why are we rocking so mu- Oh. That... That would explain it. We've got a truck inside of the Land Marauder. How much damage has it done to us? We've lost one tank and we've lost one plane. Okay, so not too much. How's the Krull do? Oh, the Krull's just being battered on the side. Thank you for having such heavy armor, Krull. You're being the ultimate in distraction. So, if I was a second mainframe, where would I be? Unless, like I say, maybe we can't capture it. Let's just see. Is it still shooting? Yes, it is. Okay, so it must have a second mainframe, otherwise the gun wouldn't be able to aim itself. So, where is the second mainframe? I think I found one of the mainframes, and it's in such a weird place, so I think that's a mainframe, though I'm honestly not certain, is it? It's so hard to tell when it's inside of metal and other different types of casing. Oh, it's definitely a mainframe, it's got a little connector to it and everything, okay. So I'm currently at the back, we're going to have to go through the insanity which is unfolding in the middle and then get to the other side. Sure. Oh, this is not pleasant in the slightest. Let's zoom out. There we are. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. That's good. Yep, well done. Excuse me. And... Where was it again? It was like... There. I think it's... There. Two down. And it's ours! The Land Marauder is under our control! Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to despawn that now. Withdraw the forces from the fight, yes. Did I do the right one? Good, now I have. So, the Land Marauder is gone, it's not currently in the fight, and all that's left is that little town over there. So let's get a nice vantage point and turn on the AI for everything, and obliterate this little base. 
Everything is online. The game is paused no longer. Oh, look at all those lovely shells from the Khans. Going straight through the target, even at such a long range. And the tower is pretty much already gone. And goodbye. And don't worry, I will be using the Land Marauder against at least some of the enemies. Even if we, any damage taken will be permanent. So we do have to be very careful about that. I'm actually unsure, now I've said that, if, if that will even work. Because, of course, of the simple fact, we can't repair the AI we've just broken. One of the traitors there coming in for an attack, our bombers in the air. And no, this isn't in slow motion. This is as fast as the game will play when you have so many different entities all online at once. I wonder if this view would be better. At least we can actually see, actually see what's going on from this view. The bombers coming up from the top. And just look at all those lovely shells going straight through. The Interceptor's missiles are now all hitting that lovely tower over there as they fly by in formation. One of the traitors was sadly killed and all the Khans are continuing to shoot, occasionally hurting each other because they're not really suited to be in such high number. I do love the fact that the shells go straight through the target. The Khans are quite cheap for their size and how much metal they have, and I do believe they're going to be a good frontline vehicle even against the harder enemies. Even if apparently nothing could have hit the AI sooner. But well done, you eventually killed it. I believe this may be the last building. Battle finished. And so, the Dustwind Gypsies are essentially no more. They no longer have a headquarters, which means they can no longer spawn in anything to kill us. And that is fantastic. It turns out this lovely place here, which apparently has some lore, is an infinite reserve resource zone, which means just like our original zone, this is an infinite reserve, which means we will always have resources. We also gained a lot of resources from that battle, so let's... Ooh, I wonder if the Land Marauder could stay here as a harvester. Yes. Everything else, yes. repair what you need to repair. Apparently the Land Marauder is very good at healing, that's good. And let's spawn in our own Land Marauder. Love the pirate flags, of course, because we don't have any mainframe on it. Destroy this! No, it's ours now, I won't do that. Can I control this? I can! Oh, wow! Look what happens when I turn. Oh, that's how it turns. That's really slidely. That's really slidey, rather. My speech today is a little bit off. And really cool. So, it's got regular wheels, but the regular wheels are attached to a spin block, which is then being controlled by a control block, so when there's an input placed, it turns the entire spin block. That is... really clever. I would have never thought about that. To be perfectly honest, I would have never thought of that about that idea, but it's a really simple yet really elegant idea. It is a little bit vulnerable, because it means the control block, if that ever gets destroyed, you lose all steering. And of course it means the wheels have to have all of this space, so it's probably not usable considering we do have a volume limit, which this wasn't built to. But it's a really nice concept in case the land campaign, or a future land campaign, doesn't have a volume limit. Also, that's a really good idea for the crane. Really well built. But sadly, it doesn't seem like it was able to harvest. Let's put it back in and see if it harvests this time. I don't think it is actually a harvester. Oh, that would be cruel as well, turning it into our harvester. Killing the enemies and keeping one to forever serve the Legion by harvesting. That is pretty cruel. And so it is becoming a harvester. 
Yep, definitely cruel, but I think it's quite fitting. So this lovely gypsy headquarters will now be our resource harvester for this zone. So the only way I can build is by deleting a block when placing a new block. By doing this, I can keep on adding stuff technically, so it is working. Although we do definitely need a lot more resource holding, because at the moment we have almost none. I'm not quite sure why that is. Completely fitted now for harvesting resources, a very fitting and very shameful end for the Dustwind Gypsy's main vehicle. We now have a lot of internal storage and I've repaired a few of the very vital components. And as much as I would love to send this against the remaining forces of the Dustwind Gypsies, there is a massive problem and it's almost unfixable with the current volume limit. A lot of the detection systems are just completely broken. Broke. The mainframes have vanished obviously since we destroyed them and a lot of other stuff which makes this a combat vehicle is no longer functioning such as the ammunition customizers, the ammunition processors, it's all just broke. So trying to make this still function would be an almost impossible task, although I really, really want to see this fighting some of the Dustwind Gypsies as a final insult to their existence. And I really do want to do that, so I'm going to try, but I'm not giving any promises I can make this once again function. It just took too much damage. Movement is now completely fixed. Perhaps this is savable. Now, thankfully, when you go over a section, even when it's broke, what happens is it tells you what the section which is broke off is. For instance, this is a wood down slope one meter, and even if I swap out what I'm holding, it will still save that, which is making this a lot easier. The wheels seem to be working correctly. I think I've got them all on the right way round, although I will have to check. Is that correct? Or is that trying to go backwards? I think it's correct. It's hard to tell, since they don't always have the correct animations. Yeah, because this one's also looking like it's wrong to me. But it's obviously working, so yeah, okay, that's working. Let's continue. And with that, I believe I've set up the detection system to at least be functional. I don't think it's particularly good, but it's all of the detection items I could find. I could start retrofitting it by destroying things like wooden beams and replacing it with connectors and everything, but I want to keep it as close to the original as possible. And I think I've done it. I think this will now function in combat just about. So... Why don't we go and do that then? Land Marauder, turn on your friends. Korn's might will not be denied. Even your leader has fallen to the madness of chaos. And now we are fighting a King Cobra, a Scrapworks, a Sidewinder, a Sand Viper, a Sidewinder, a Sand Viper, and a Sand Viper versus the mighty Land Marauder. Now the problem is, as this thing gets damaged, we cannot repair it, so good luck. Let's see how it does. Wow, there's so many enemies. But we are so much larger than them. And we fly the flag of corn. Also, they are detonating themselves, which is pretty helpful. That was some odd missiles they have there. Oh, Inkling Bikes hitting our side. One of our wheel sections has gone completely. Like I was saying, that must be so vulnerable. Oh, we are capturing the bikes, however. We did just capture one of the bikes that rammed us. Those, those little armor-piercing rounds are actually really good. They seem to be defeating the enemy fairly easily. That cram cannon shot, not the best. Like I say, the detection systems aren't perfect at the moment. But still good enough to take out the enemy. Oh, we just took a nasty hit on the side. Just defeat one group, please. That's all I ask. And no! Missiles missing! Putting the miss back in missiles. This is such an awesome vehicle. Oh, I do want a land campaign without the volume restriction. That would be cool. And I hope eventually there will be an official version of that. That would be really nice. 
I'm not a huge fan of doing the custom campaigns on Steam. I am tempted to do one eventually, but for now I am trying to do the official campaigns instead. Oh, I was, I was about to say, let's capture that, and then that happened. Oh, is it dead or is it not? Oh, yep, definitely dead. There's no chance I, I can get there in time. Is that a bike or is it something else? Ooh, stop, 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 stop. No! Oh, boom. Darn it, Land Marauder. You had one job. To kill them, which you did, but you could have spared a couple. Oh, how much damage did I take, though? So, lost one gun, lost a whole wheel segment, including one of the engines, lost an internal engine, lost... Not an internal engine, an internal material storage section. This side is fairly unscathed, the back section took a bit of damage. I could keep on sending it into battles, until eventually it lost, but I kind of want to keep it as a permanent servant to continuously harvest resource for the Lafrixian Legion. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm afraid though, with that, I am actually out of time for today's episode. I do apologise that it is a fair bit shorter than usual, but at the moment I'm a little bit under the weather and speaking is remarkably difficult. So because of that, I will be cutting it short, but don't worry, I will be recording the next video as soon as I'm feeling even a little bit better. And in the next video, we will be clearing out the last remaining forces of the Dustwind Gypsies, making sure to get as much resource from them as possible, and we are going to be retro fitting the Khan tank to have a minigun variant, possibly. We'll definitely be retrofitting the Krull to have a true artillery cannon and be an AI-controlled vehicle, along with, of course, keeping the original for insanity's sake. And I would very much like to make our interceptors a little bit better so they are in their final form. Their very cheap, very expendable form, which will hopefully be able to actually take out other flyers, most likely using a laser designator rather than the missiles that they are currently using. So once again, sorry for the short, rather odd video, I do hope you've enjoyed, and I'm really happy we do have the Land Marauder now on our side. So thank you so much for watching. And of course, not forgetting, if you have enjoyed the video, then likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that From the Depths is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye.